Okay, so I was going to wait until a certain time just to talk about the SummerSlam results. I was going to wait till Wednesday, but I know some of y'all wanted to hear my thoughts and stuff about tonight's pay-per-view. So, a few people already know how I felt, and just hopefully if I can get my... I mean, that would be cute. Throw a laptop to work. Believe me, I need an upgrade. Dad, what do you think about this? If you want to sponsor WFSL, please let me know because we do need the sponsorship. Yeah. Or what about the dog lover? And I can come out with these. Come on. I'm leaning towards Wild Woman, but. And then I could let people touch the dogs because everyone. I'm sorry, just. Well, so probably because I'm in the background watching Holy Foley while this is going on. Just say, you, you live in my area and you get like AT&T, don't get it. It sucks. Alrighty. So, come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, the way you brought it up, you're like, that's special so much in your life. The match that they had this past um, Tuesday on SmackDown. Frank, Frank's a clown, so I just thought he'd have really good ideas. Really good ideas, except for becoming a clown to begin with. I'm sorry, it's just still like acting up. So, with the 12 men tag, it's kind of like the same result as it was when you see this past Tuesday that the Usos, American Alpha, and the Hype Bros have won that match. But I guess a little bit of twist with the um, tagging, I think with Jey Uso, they tag himself in and finish him off with the splash. Cover one, two, three. So, although the match did live up to its height, like it did, you know, this past Tuesday, but overall, it, uh, they changed it a little bit from this past Tuesday, but overall, it was good. Sami Zayn and Neville defeated the Dudley Boys. I've only seen a little bit of that match, so I can't talk much about it. But um, as I thought, they would get this one to the Dudley Boys, but they didn't. So, Sami Zayn and Neville, they won. Um, this match, although I didn't see it entirely, Sheamus and Cesaro, so I did kind of predict the correct that um, Sheamus and Sheamus was going to win this match, and he did. So they're probably going to do the second match probably tomorrow on Raw, so big shocker. Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens defeated Enzo Moray and Big Cass. I was wrong about this one, and I saw a little bit of the match, so it was pretty decent. This one was a little bit of a shock to me and kind of like a, one of the matches that I'm a little bit disappointed with. It delivered, but I just thought that like, Sasha Banks was going to hold it a little bit longer. But apparently it didn't go the way I thought. So Charlotte did get, get back the women's title and she defeated Sasha Banks. In Continental Championship match, I think... The only problem I had with this match, it should have been a little bit longer. And it was a decent match, but I just thought it should have went a little bit longer. And I don't know, I just thought Apollo Crews would have won it, but apparently not. Um, AJ Styles defeated John Cena. I was a little bit disappointed because I thought this would make more sense. But I get why, because I know Cena's going to take time off. Probably like do like movies. I don't know if he's doing the movie, but I know he's got to get, get ready for American Grit. But, um, I just thought at least he would have won that match then. They would have had a match on SmackDown and had John Cena. He makes me laugh and he makes me smile. Like lose to AJ Styles on SmackDown or whatever, then let that feud be over with. Um, it was kind of weird how the tag match for the tag team titles kind of ended. It's kind of weird, but good thing Big E did came back and start cleaning house, and you had John Stewart being a New Day member for the night. <laughs> um, didn't have a problem with that match, but I guess it 
Anyway, it's a good way for them to girl, have the match continue. The silence, you know, the, the feud like continue. Because maybe the next pay per view they might happen with the class of the champions, which they're gonna, which is a raw pay per view. Um, Dean Ambrose defeated Dolph Ziggler. Um, kind of what I predicted, and and the fans was booing Dolph. No, not Dolph, but Dean Ambrose. How cool is that? Like, uh, you can't please everybody, I guess. The return of Nikki Bella, Natalia, and Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch, Naomi, and Carmella. It was a very good women's match, so it could have went either way. So I'm. It actually like one of the one of the best women's matches that they had for a very long time. Not knocking out the women's championship match because it was very good. It just I guess the way that I wanted it didn't go so well, but. But with there, the I six diva tag was pretty good. I had no complaints and and surprisingly that could be my kind of my match of the night if I think about it. Finn Balor defeated seven Seth Rollins to become the first WWE Universal Champion. Um, did Finn Balor win it too quick, or did he? Did they need to, you know, drag it a little bit more? Either way, it's going to be dragged a little more, and Seth Rollins is going to get a rematch. But we don't know. He he might win it at the next pay per view. Or, well, they, I guess they're going to see how Finn Balor is going to do with the crowd and stuff. And a lot of people really did pop for this match. So, I'm, o I'm okay. I think it was a little bit too soon for Finn Balor, but I thought the match overall was good. Although the United States Championship match didn't happen, but I did like what happened. It was something... That I didn't expect it, but it was very good. So I did like what they did with that part. In the main event, Brock Lesnar defeated Randy Orton by t totally knockout, as they call it. Costume shop. Costume shop. Yeah. It's a little small. The match was. Well, as you saw, I'm shaking my head. The match was okay. But I guess the way it ended, it was just like, I don't know, it was, it was a horrible ending. But Shane and F5, I can see where they're going with this, and they might drag this a little bit longer with, but then again, what's next for Brock Lesnar? Yeah, I just thought you would have better ideas. I don't know, I just thought... I did try. I did predict that Randy Orton should have won, but they went this route, and I'm not upset with how they the who won. But I just, I just didn't really like the ending. That just, I guess that's just how I feel. Just overall, from one to ten, I have to rate this a six because. There were a few of the matches that were just like yeah, disappointing and makes you angry, alright? So I'm gonna hit you with a name. Right? Okay, like Mike. after the matches was good Mike. but some Mike. of the endings Mike. were just like disappointing. So that's why I had to get this pay per view kinda of six. Like I think I got a poop on her eyebrow on her eyebrows. It's just Is there anything more devastating? Part of it although I'll probably you know miss part of it, maybe I'll rewatch it and my opinion may change. But I am going to rewatch the um, SummerSlam pay per view in its entirety. And maybe I'll change my mind, but I guess it's just. Yeah, so I just have to rate it as six. So that's just my opinion on that. So, what do you guys think? If you agree with me, just comment on. Because I'm going to put this video, of course, on yeah. WFSO's YouTube page, also on my Facebook page, and on the group's Facebook page, and it'll be on WFSO's Twitter as well, so just let me know what your thoughts and what you think. So, catch you next time. I'm really excited.